What's going on there, everyone? I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. It was a pretty nice weekend. Um, this particular story, I really wanted to bring up mainly because of the headline and how misleading I think the headline is. From Newsweek, mass arrest of asylum seekers on their way to the U.S. border branded human hunt. They need international protection. Well, first off, asylum seekers, real, asi real, keyword, real asylum seekers have a bunch of international protections already. But let's get into why they say human hunt and arrest and all this stuff. Let's get into the story. Now, there are some Mexican or, or Spanish, however you want to say it, uh, names of things in here, which I will probably butcher, but I'm going to do my best. That's all I can say. Hundreds of asylum seekers were arrested and detained in Mexico this weekend after making a desperate attempt to reach the U.S. border after having been forced to spend weeks, if not months, waiting to be granted permission to travel north. Wait. That's, that's what you're doing. You're, you're waiting for permission. Don't try to take it upon yourself to say, screw y'all, I'm just going to go. Because that's not how things work. While some members of the group had traveled from neighboring Central American countries, many more had come from Africa and Caribbean countries, according to the Associated Press. For weeks, many of the asylum seekers had been forced to wait in the Mexican town of Tap Tapachula for officials to grant them travel visas to continue north, where they hoped to reach the U.S. border. When those visas never came, however, they decided to leave the southern Mexican town, setting off early sun or Saturday morning before sunrise. After making 20 miles of headway, the Associated Press said the asylum seekers were surrounded by hundreds of National Guard members and police officers who forced them to return to uh, Tapachula in vans. Well, first off, I would like to say as an American, thank you Mexican officials, because you... You're doing exactly what you said you would do, what you what y'all told the Trump administration y'all would do. You were going to stop the flow of illegal immigrants into our country. And thank you very much for doing so. Trust me, I appreciate it and many more. Even even some of our uh, South American immigrants very much appreciate it. Because the simple fact is, is we don't know who's coming in these groups. And we know there are, are bad people in these groups. So, thank you for doing y'all's job. And I really, as an American, we really appreciate the help. Salva La Cruz, a spokesperson from the Fray Matas de Cordova Human Rights Center in Tapachula, condemned the move, accusing officials of having uh, waited for asylum seekers to tire out from the journey before making any effort to confront them. That's not a bad thing. That's actually a very smart way to do it. Why, I mean, why are you going to try to confront these people when they're all jazzed up and energetic? Because we've seen confrontations with the police down there and, and the military down there. In the video that's right above these paragraphs, if you press play on that video, which I'll put a link in the description for you can have the article yourself, you know, if you want to look at the video... You will see that they are not the most friendly people. They're throwing rocks at helicopters, men trying to rip down fences and all this stuff. It's not like these people are just poor little asylum seekers. No, it's a bunch of men. It's a bunch of men with a few women and children, you know, scattered among them to use as human shields. It's pretty sad and pathetic. Burning the arrest, a human hunt, all right, first off, first off, you could see that they weren't actually arrested. They were picked up, put in vans, and transported back to where they came from because they weren't supposed to be traveling there in the first place. You see what I mean? It wasn't an arrest. An arrest means you, you get taken in, you go to jail, you get booked. This was not an arrest. This was just them simply turning them back and putting them where they belonged to wait for the proper channels to be gone through. 
it's funny how activists like to uh, try to manipulate your mind and your thoughts with what you read. Um, yeah, branding the, the arrest as a human hunt, LaCruz told AP that uh, the decision to arrest asylum seekers, they weren't arrested, after they traveled uh, was an exercise in cruelty. No, it wasn't. It was them doing their jobs. Sorry. They need international protection, LaCruz said. They have international protection already. There's already a huge amount of rules and laws that are specifically for asylum seekers. But these aren't asylum seekers. Sorry. Instead, the hundreds of asylum seekers have been forced into limbo, waiting in uh, Tapachula to find out whether they will be deported back to their home countries or offered visas to stay. Well, if they keep doing stuff like this, I don't think they should even have the opportunity because they clearly can't follow laws or rules. You know, that kind of, to me, sets a bad example. They probably shouldn't be admitted. Why should we be so kind to these people when we know that they're not actual asylum seekers? They're coming here for uh, financial gains. That's, and, and they all say it. You had one person saying, I miss Buffalo Wild Wings. Well, they, Mexico has those. It's true, they do. Um, other people just say they want to come here to work. Sorry, that's not covered under asylum, buddy. Hate to tell you. The Mexican government has uh, reportedly offered asylum seekers the option of obtaining residency and work permits in southern Mexico. However, due to the influx of immigration cases uh, the country has had following the U.S. tightening border policies, those permits have been slow to reach beneficiaries. Even if they do, job opportunities in southern Mexico may also be difficult to come by, given that the region is the poorest in the country. Okay, well, if they give you visas to stay in Mexico, in southern Mexico, and, and you become, say, a citizen or whatever of Mexico, you will be able to move throughout Mexico to find a job, because there's plenty of them down there. There really is. In recent months, the U.S. Uh, Customs and Border Protection Agency has said it has seen a rise in the number of African migrants arriving at the border, which, which we have seen, but... I. This may not be popular among my conservative and Republican friends, but I would say that the African migrants should almost be placed at the top of the list in reality because most of them are, are truly asylum seekers. They're fleeing civil war and war zones. So while I disagree with all these people coming from South American countries that really aren't seeing all this stuff... I do kind of tend to, to say we, we might need to look at the, the um, African migrants a little harder because they may actually be true asylum seekers. I mean, I'm just saying. But I also don't see why they can't just stay in Mexico. Because Mexico's not that bad of a place. It's really not. American tourists wouldn't always be flocking down there if it was such a bad place. But yeah, it's 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 just this whole article was very left leaning, if you ask me. The way they use, the language that they used, and they're trying to be a little bit hyperbolic and all that, saying it's a human hunt. It was clearly not a human hunt. They just rounded up people that weren't supposed to be in a certain area in the first place. Sorry about your luck. And when it comes to the U.S., uh, right here, the United States recognizes the right of asylum for individuals as specified by international and federal law. A specific number of legally defined refugees, legally defined refugees, see, that's a, that's a big thing. No, uh, people on the left forget that, that there are definitions for who and who isn't an asylum refugee type person. Are admitted annual. These refugees are, are not eligible to apply for asylum from inside the U.S., but have applied uh, for refugee status through the United Nations. Imagine that. There's an actual thing set up for these people to do, but they just don't do it. How is that our problem when we turn them away? How does that make us an evil, bad person? It doesn't. It doesn't. It makes them a bad person 
for not following the established rules and procedures. It's not our fault that you took it upon yourself to come on a thousand mile journey, uh, breaking uh, border laws and this, that, and the other. You know, it's, it's crazy. They just want this big globalist network where people can travel freely, and it doesn't work. Look at Europe. They tried that, and look at Europe. Europe's barely European anymore. Europe is actually becoming just another another uh, facet of the Middle East, it seems, in some areas. It's kind of weird. But I like part of this other paragraph, too, because it really uh, puts the numbers out there. Since World War II, more refugees have found homes in the U.S., than any other nation, and more than 2 million refugees have arrived in the U.S. since 1980. From 2005 to 2007, approximately 40,000 refugee seekers uh, per year were accepted into the U.S., compared to about 30,000 a year in the U.K. and 25,000 per year in Canada. The U.S. accounted for about 10%, 10% of all refugee uh, seeker acceptances in the OECD countries. I can keep going, but I'm not. I'll put a link to this uh, wiki page for you if you want to look through it. I'm just saying, America already does everything we need to be doing. Our, we've done it so well that now our system gets taken advantage of by activist, left-wing activist types, specifically. They go down to Mexico and they try to... We all know this. You know, it's, it's, it's open knowledge that... They go down there and they train these people what to say. They coach them on how to pr pretty much illegally come into the United States because they're coming here on a false pretense. They're coming here on lies, stuff people have told them to say. So, yeah, all I can say is thank you, Mexico. Once again, you stopped a massive group of people coming into the United States. That's solid. That's solid. I appreciate it, and a lot of other people do, too. But as always, I'd love to hear y'all's comments on this. Whether you think I'm just a, a brash conservative who doesn't like to see immigration, which I could say is patently false. But, um, yeah, I'd love to hear, love to hear what you got to say about this. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. I will catch y'all on the flip side.